Hello guys, welcome you all. This is our third video on microservice using Go. Okay, so in the previous video, what we have done, we have developed a simple hello world controller where we have written a simple message like hello go. Okay, mm, hello go. Okay, so in this video, uh, we'll try to set up a basic MVC project structure to develop our REST APIs and we'll proceed with our rest api development okay so let's get started so uh, here is my visual code this is the thing we have done in the previous video so we have created one endpoint hello world and we have just written a message okay so let's start with the package creation okay so leave it this as it is okay so in the src i'll create one uh, package like web app inside the web app i'll organize my packages okay according to the different different layers like controller domain services DAO layer all the layer will divide into different different packages okay fine then uh, in web app will create domain okay uh, or we can say model okay and second folder will use will create uh, controllers and the next package will create services okay next folder will create DAO okay sorry this i have created inside services it should be separate okay so the next folder will create so we have created controller model service uh, yeah uh, we'll create one more package as dao and we'll create okay so um uh, one more pa uh, uh, so we'll create uh, one more package as boot or what we'll name it as bootstrap these are the packages we have created uh, bootstrap controller dao model and service okay uh, that's fine and we'll create one main file uh, main.go from where we'll trigger our bootstrap okay so we'll create one main.go file okay here okay so we'll give this package main and func main okay and we'll define it like this okay and in the bootstrap mm, we'll create one uh, more go file um, boot app dot go okay boot app dot go so here we have the package bootstrap okay we'll give func main okay so this is basically the starting point of our uh, web app okay and this is the starting point of the go so uh, from this main function we like to call this this function okay so uh, name it is like um, boot application okay so our application will boot from here okay now in the main.go file we have to call this boot.go function so that we can trigger this function okay so we'll okay and uh, we'll use this method name we use this function name okay copy it and uh, we'll try to call it here uh, but uh, uh, one more thing we have to do here we have to import this package import so where it is present web app slash bootstrap okay and this bootstrap dot we have to call like this okay Mm. Oh, it's giving error it's fine okay boot str s t a r okay i think i have given it wrong let's modify it boot st mm, r f P bootstrap fine S T O A P fine so this we have to keep in mind 
I have to keep this in correct way. Okay, mm, bootstrap. Fine. So, uh, mm, so this is our main go file from where we are calling this uh, boot application. Okay, and from here we'll start our uh, web application. Okay, so. Uh, as of now uh, I'll use just a simple I'll just print a simple message fmt dot print ln print ln and we'll write like bootstrap bootstrapping the appli application fine okay so what we have created so this is basic uh, mvc structure which we have created for our further development okay so we have created web app. so we have created web app package inside this web app package we have different different packages like bootstrap from where we are triggering the um, mvc application and uh, controller this we have uh, created uh, uh, to accept all the request uh, whatever the uh, whatever the request will come from the front end okay this will uh, DAO we we have created uh, to talk with the database okay and this is the model where we used to keep our uh, whatever the um, stru structures we created we'll put it here this service package basically consists of our business logic okay that will call our controller okay and this is the main so uh, when we'll uh, hit go and we, when we'll try to run this main indirectly it will run this it means it will start our boot app application from here okay so let's try it so we have to open the command terminal okay and we have to move it to this package where we have this uh, this main class uh, where we have this main go file okay so cd and navigate to where we are microservice okay uh, src slash web app slash web app slash boot sorry slash web app only here we have to move okay inside the web app we have created this main go file okay so we'll try to trigger this we have to type go main dot sorry go run main dot go okay and hit enter okay so here we can see that it's triggering our application okay so here um, in this bootstrap for running our application okay so uh, so that's all for this video i will see you in next video until then bye bye and happy learning